Global. We've seen a few splashy launches of smartphones recently, but it's not often the very future of the company is at stake. That was the case in New York today with the long-awaited launch of the BlackBerry 10. And Deb has more on the release in NewsHour Insight tonight. Yes, thank you, Chris. It seems hard to believe that there was once a time, only a few years ago, when almost everyone wanted a BlackBerry. It was called the Crackberry, because once you had it in your hands, you were addicted. And if you were in business, you had a BlackBerry, period. But then came iPhones and Android phones with their amazing functions and apps. Research in Motion fell behind, and so did its phone. Today, Research in Motion changed its corporate name to BlackBerry, and unveiled two phones it hopes will revive the company from the nearly dead. The new Blackberries are creating a buzz, but the question is, is the buzz big enough? Here at the offices of Wavefront in Vancouver, they're getting ready to party tonight as about 200 mobile app developers have been invited to get a hands-on look at the new BlackBerry phones. They'll also see the new BlackBerry Center, one of only three in the world where new apps for the new phones will be written and tested. There was a report that was issued by Startup Genome last week, and it ranked Vancouver ninth in the world in terms of a startup ecosystem, but number two and number four in terms of talent and entrepreneurial mindset, and that's up against Silicon Valley as sort of the, the gold standard. The BlackBerry Z10 that looks an awful lot like an iPhone and the ZQ which sports the traditional physical keyboard. What's really changed with these phones is the new operating system within. But is it too little too late or late because it's great? These phones have been in development for 15 months and the release delayed a full year. The technology race, and especially in smartphones, you can't afford to be behind uh, for even a month. So the fact that they delayed this operating system for over a year is definitely going to hurt them. And when it comes to mobile devices, the hardware can often be secondary. Software applications or apps are king, and the Android and iOS operating systems are light years ahead of BlackBerry. At last count, Apple has three quarters of a million apps out there. Android isn't far behind with 675,000. And then there's Research in Motion with 70. But the good news is that BlackBerry has gone out of its way to simplify the process for developers. BlackBerry's made it really easy for developers to make apps for the new BlackBerry 10 operating system. So if you've uh, developed uh, an existing Android app, it's really easy to reskin that and make it a BlackBerry app so you can get it up and published right away. We often here in North America forget that Blackberries are active in 35 countries around the world. So we only see the North American piece. We don't, when you go to India or when you go to Indonesia or Africa, uh, Blackberry is the phone of choice. For the hundreds of mobile app developers who call the Lower Mainland home, they can only hope that BlackBerry has a hit on its hands. And all those worldwide phones will need new apps, many of them developed right here. But the early reviews from tech sites can best be summed up by what's posted on Engadget.com, that these new BlackBerries are awesome phones for last year. Now, how bad has it been for the former research in motion? According to the global research firm IDC, BlackBerry went from having 46% of the smartphone market in 2008 to just 2% last year. The delays in developing the new Blackberries, which were supposed to be out last year, wiped out 5,000 jobs and $70 billion in shareholder wealth. One analyst says Blackberry will have to sell at least 5 million new phones each quarter to remain viable. And to do that, they're pulling out all the stops. You'll see Blackberry ads on this weekend's Super Bowl, where some 30-second spots are going for $4 million. And what did the markets think of today's launch? Well, BlackBerry shares closed down 12% today to $13.86. At their peak in June of 2008, those shares were worth $148. We'll see what the coming days will bring. But if you're raring to go with the new 10, it'll be out on February 5th. That's tonight's Insight, Chris. All right, if they sell as many as they think they need to, maybe those investors will be back. All right, thanks very much, Deb. A storm with surprising power rips across the United States from the Great Lakes down to Georgia. Communities are trying to put the pieces back together.